Hi, welcome. Here I have a brand new Asus desktop computer and this is the front panel of it. You can see that the USB slots, USB-C and the power button here is on the top. The desktop does not have an optical drive and um, I would like to take a look at the internal part of it and see what are the things that can be upgraded or replaced. So let's take a look at the side panel here to identify the model. If you take a look at the uh, the side panel, it says V500MVC. So that is the model of this desktop here. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, side panel. And we need to slide it off by removing two of the screws. So unscrew them. So once you unscrew the top and bottom, you can slide the side panel to your left. And that would remove the, uh, the cover. Okay, here you can actually see the internal part of the computer. Let me zoom in a slightly little bit. Uh, just kind of go over what we are looking at. Uh, there is a PCIe slot which allows you to add graphics card into that. So if you're using a low profile graphics card like this, meaning that low profile does not require additional power. It's like 6 pin, 8 pin power PCIe. If it does not require power to power up the graphics card, then you can definitely install right here on the PCIe slot. Now the next step is to take a look at the uh, hard drive. This is the one terabyte hard drive, I believe. And to remove it, all you have to do is just to get a Phillips screwdriver and you can just remove by the tiny little screw right here. Once you remove that, lift it up gently. Why do I say lift it up gently? Because they do have this adhesive pad. This thermal pad here is kind of sticky. It stick onto the back of the M.2 drive. So when you lift it up, it will kind of glue it together. So you need to gently lift it up and slide it away. Okay. Next is to take a look at the uh, RAM, the two RAM slot here. They run on a DDR5 and to remove the RAM, all you have to do is just push the clipper away from each other, push it, push it away from each other and that would remove the, uh, uh, the RAM. So the RAM would pop up at 45 degree angle and you can just slide it towards the body and remove them. And just to identify, this is a DDR5 RAM. You can see DDR5, 16 gigabytes. So this can hold up to 32 gigs. So 16, 16, 32. Now they do come with um, power here, which is for the VGA power, but I do not have the box with me. So I'm not sure if it comes in a box, but you can double check with that. And the motherboard, and that is your heatsink. Uh, the CPU is attached to the copper, and that exhausts out the heat to the back of the computer. Now there's no secondary slot for the M.2 drive. There's only one here. I do see a SATA cable available, but I do not see additional power that is available to power up the SATA. So when I when I'm referring to the SATA, I'm referring to like a two and a half inch or three and a half inch hard drive, where the SATA can connect to the hard drive, but you need the power to power up the hard drive. I don't see the power. It may have been in a box, um, but I don't have the box with me, so I can't tell you whether if it's there or not. I'm gonna slide it back at 45 degree angle and push the RAM uh, in it and press it down let the clipper to lock it in to install the RAM. That's pretty much it. And then the power supply is right here. This is the uh, power supply for the computer. I can't tell you the model for that. I think the model is right here. Um, 0A100, that is the model of this power supply. There's only six pin and a four pin to power up the motherboard. So it's very straightforward. Um, there is the optical drive here, but they do not come with the optical drive. And that's the motherboard. 
So there you have it. And if you have any question, just comment down below. Hopefully this video helps. Uh, looks like there's no room for an upgrade. It just strictly, um, it just a strictly a straightforward computer here. It looks like they're using kind of like a motherboard, mother, uh, laptop motherboard here on a low version of it. Uh, it's not even a full full size ATX motherboard. It's a very small motherboard. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time. Oh yeah, if you're interested for a dual monitor, I believe the computer allows you to do an HDMI and a Display Port. If you want to have dual monitor, this desktop able to do that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and bye now.